Yo, it's your boy B Parks. Thanks for tuning back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you to the heart of New Orleans. That's right, Bourbon Street. And you're gonna be checking it out with me here on Life on Video. Enjoy. It's a little after 6.30 here in Alabama. I just woke up. Let's go to New Orleans. Just a few minutes after seven, and I'm on my way. Now, some of you may be wondering what I'm doing in Alabama to begin with. Well, I'm in Alabama because I'm attending an Air Force Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Academy. And for those of you that know, I am in the Air Force. So I'm out here at this Leadership Academy right now in Alabama for a few days. So I decided to take advantage of my geographical location and take a trip to New Orleans because I've never been. And also, for those of you that know me, know I've traveled all over the world, but I still have a few places in America I haven't been to. So we're gonna mark this one off the bucket list this weekend. <sighs> Four and a half hour drive. Let's get it. Just made a stop, been driving for two and a half hours. I'm right outside of Mobile, Alabama right now. Two and a half left to go. We'll get it. This is my room, man. It's a baller room. This is a king suite. Basically has a couch right here. I don't know if there's a pull out. It is a pull out. So it has a pull out couch. Nice size TV. Just a chair. Let's check this view out. Eh, not too much. Pretty crammed in down here. So we come through here. King size bed for a king like me, you know what I'm saying? Got the mirror, another TV. This one you get a little bit of a closer view. Nothing fancy. And then got like a washroom area. It's got a huge mirror. Huge. Closet. Let's check what's we'll using. Iron. Iron board. Some hangers. Some linen for the pullout couch. We'll have a bathroom. Toilet. Some artwork of downtown it looks like. And a shower. Not too bad. One thing I forgot to mention was this also has a full up stove, two burners, it's electric, microwave, and a dishwasher. I mean, this thing is just got like everything. Super nice. Fridge is dope too. Stainless steel GE, nice. I'm definitely good with it, 100%. I booked this about, I wanna say four nights ago, three nights ago when I knew I was coming down to New Orleans. So for a last minute book, I don't really think you can get much better than this. Awesome. All right, so I'm in New Orleans, just got here. I'm trying to figure out how to make my way to French Quarter real quick, I just wanna check it out. Luckily Hilton is super dope, love this hotel. Branch did let me check in early. So all my stuff's loaded up in the room, walking around. I wanna find French Quarter. See what it's all about. Gotta be honest too. I want a drink. I don't really know why you would come to New Orleans and not get a few drinks, but everyone that knows me knows Southern Comfort's my go-to, and this is the home of it. So, I'm ready to throw it down. 
It is, let's see what time it is. One in the afternoon. I think it's a perfect time to get started. <laughs> Cool, so let's find a drink. Uh, let's go over here, let's check it out. and it's just pumped up on a Saturday. I'm digging it completely. But I'm cutting down the side road because I just saw this, uh, I saw this monument that I wanted to go check out real quick. So I'm gonna sneak down here real quick just away from the party for a quick second, check it out, and then I'll head back. Looks pretty cool. It's an art festival that's going on over here. That's what everybody's over here doing. Even though it's kind of gloomy and overcast today, it's still like 78 degrees out there. They're super nice humid but luckily I chose to wear shorts because back where I'm coming from and uh, right now where I'm coming from Alabama it's pretty chilly today so I prepped for the temperature change it's all right I prepped accordingly but it feels good though not complaining on Bourbon Street. I knew for sure I had to get one. They won't tell you what's in it, but it's really good. I will tell you that one. Really good. Tropical, but good. There's one thing to be said about cities in America where you can actually have a drink and walk around like the drinking area. It just makes it more fun. You're not confined to one spot when you buy a drink, you gotta spend 15 minutes there drinking it. So, there's something to be said. I know other countries don't do that at all. They have like the no open container laws. I really wish we would find a way to incorporate that into like just the downtown parts of some of the major cities would be offered. So I've walked up and down now about maybe three times. Had some drinks, ready for food, starving. Let's find some New Orleans food. I'm cutting away from Bourbon Street. When I was walking down one of these other roads, they, were, they had a lot more food. So, I wanna get something authentic and I know that my boy Jimmy and 
everybody will appreciate that I'm not looking for chicken tenders or pizza. But uh, let's get some local food, man. Let's try it out. Just looking. When I find something, I'll let you know. It's super cool. It's just got a ton of different hot sauces. <laughs> different hot foods and stuff. You know what? I'm gonna get some taken home to Braxton Braxton. They always try to put hot sauce on my food. I'm gonna get them back. Something good. <laughs> Super cool store, man. Yeah, I'm definitely scoop some stuff. This is awesome. I'll show you what I got when I find it. I didn't notice this, but they actually have a spot where you can taste the different hot sauces if you want to. I mean, I'm gonna definitely pass on this, but they even got the spices over here. You can smell them, give them a taste if you want to. Pretty cool concept. I'm not gonna lie, that's. Pretty, pretty cool. So you don't have to waste, you know, $15 on something that you're not gonna like. You can try it before you actually buy it. I can get down with that. I mean, I'd say, it's probably safe to say I'm staying away from this. Cool. Please sign a waiver and taste at your own risk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, your boy ain't doing that one. <laughs> I decided to get them some preservatives. They really like peanut butter and jelly, so I figured some peanut butter and preservatives, but this one is jalapeno and peach. <laughs> See how they like it? We'll just get a small one too, because I know they're not going to eat it. <laughs> We're all just probably going to try it. Just finished grubbing at the red fish grill. Red fish grill, excuse me. Um, yeah, I would definitely say, come try that joint out. It's so good, I'm so full right now. I'm not even gonna lie, beer, appetizer, main dish, 30 bucks. And that was like, like one step under like fine dining those guys were very professional in there so i'm taking that as a win Whew. i'm full <sighs> see what else is going on just straight up this bus is rolling down no top. They're throwing these out. So dope. This thing's lit, bro. Like, on a whole nother level. And I'm not even mad about it, if we're being honest. It, it feels like a, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to put it. It just feels like a, no, uh, no social class required Vegas, you know? Like, here it comes. <laughs> Let's see if somebody throws some dust. <laughs> Quick! Got it! <laughs> the ball. Boys got quick hands, didn't see it coming. Way out here. <laughs> and that's gonna do it for us today in New Orleans. First time here. Awesome. Tried some authentic food. Got to try a few authentic drinks. Also, just got to come to the Ever Alive Bourbon Street. I don't think it gets much better than that when you come to New Orleans. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more content coming soon here on Life on Video. Later.